He's dead. I told you to leave it with Phil. Who knows what he's going to do now? Oh, come on, you saw him. He's pathetic. He's got nothing but his name. Do you know he won't let it go? I spent so long building things up. Always by the book, was it? Don't pretend you wouldn't have done the same. Right, who else have you dragged into this, eh? Are you involved? No. Are you? No. You would better not be. to change insurance providers. It's all sorted. You know what they say, don't cry over spilt milk or beans or <laughs> bread. You lied to me. Eve, the files you need are next door. Focus of you to my face. No, I... You I used our son. Our innocent son in your stupid vendetta against Phil. He didn't use me. I wanted to do it. Now, I forbid you to get involved. I am not a kid anymore. You are still my little boy, Vinny. And whilst you're living under my Stop roof... Stop patronising me. I am finally stepping up, playing my part for the family. You should be pleased. What well, after what happened to your brother? Are you willing to let another son go to prison? Well, you were happy enough to send Jags to prison, weren't you? To you are the reason that two of our kids aren't here with us now. And if you carry on like this, you're going to push Vinny and Ash away too. I'm just trying to protect them. From what? We don't need protecting. My kids, they respect me. You say the same about you? We're closed. Suki. I am. Um, I just wanted to check you're all right. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, I heard the way Nish spoke to you earlier. If that had been anyone else, you'd have told them where to get off. It's not just anyone now, is it? It's my husband. Yeah, in name only. Look, we're a partnership in every way. Why are you letting him do this? It's like he's sucked the fire out of you. You know everything you've achieved over the last two decades you did alone. You did that. You don't need him. I wouldn't understand. So make me. Make me understand. Because the Suki I know won't put up with this. Yeah, well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. We both know that's not true. Just stop trying to make out what happened was a fairy tale. I made a mistake. Once. That's it. Once. OK. Once every kiss, every touch, every moment that we shared, there were all mistakes with it. You mean nothing to me. Message received. Loud and clear. Mum, look at you. <laughs> It was a back of a drawer. I thought we'd get it out so you can put the new one next to it tomorrow. Matching pair. <laughs> Maybe your mother doesn't want it on display. Of course I do. I just put it away when you went to prison because it made me sad. Now, there's a lot to do today. Can you call the caterers again and make sure they know the date's changed? All right, I'm on it. Mm. I'll go get it. I'll see you both later on. Yeah, OK. That'll be Eve for me. Pass me an invite, will you? you you're going to invite her? Of course. Actually, give me two. You should invite the Slaters as well. Hi. Eve, I was just telling Suki what a great asset you are to us, like part of the family. I'm sorry I couldn't invite you yesterday, but 
We'd love you to come and join us tomorrow. And Stacey and the family too. Yeah, of course, but um, it's probably too late notice for you. I'm sure you can get a couple of hours off. The blessing is here at the house, so you don't exactly have far to come. Thanks. It's really kind. Um, I'll let you know later if that's okay. Great. Yeah, I'll just <laughs> call me an old romantic, but we want as many people to come and celebrate a love as possible. Yeah. Isn't that right? things that are not their niche and the last time you did that it landed you 20 years when i see men around you like that trying to get close to it i couldn't stand it now i can't stand it now i killed that man i love for you suki don't you understand pure love and i i can't guarantee I won't do it again. I told myself that if I came, I might actually find a way of accepting it. That I could convince myself that you're happy in your choice, but... I know you don't love him, so why are you doing this? <laughs> you talk about love as though it's the answer to everything. Well, so... Um, is it about your community? Because I get it, or I would, if we were talking about when you first got married with all that pressure and pleasing your parents and stuff. Are you seriously trying to explain my culture to me? No one forced me to marry Nish. I know. You gave it a good go. You know, you've raised the kids, you've built the businesses, you've worked hard for years, so... Isn't it time now that you had the life that you actually want? You don't know what I want. No. Just tell me you love him and I'll leave. Just go, please. You're going to stand smiling in front of a load of people tomorrow while you feel sick to your stomach. Because you're lying to yourself that that's what you want. You can't. You can't pretend that you and me never happened. Why do you have to be like this? Please, just don't make this any harder than it already is. No one's forcing you to do it. You're just trying to convince yourself that you can make it work. He is my husband, and I am not going to cheat on him. You already did. It's like our wedding day. But even more beautiful. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you very much for inviting us. As you can see, Janet's brought her own scarf to mark the occasion. You look like a princess. Oh, thank you. Why, it's time. Unless any more are joining us. No, Eve. <coughs> you really didn't have to come. I did. It's, um, it's a big day for you and I um, need the support. Bibi Sukhwinder Kaur Ji Paneser Ate Sardar Rishan Ji Singh Ji Paneser Aap Ji De Charna Vich He Mere Vai Guru Ikatar Hoke For Blessings For Your Blessings My God O Aap Ji De Charna Vich Ikatar Hoye Ne He Satche Paatshah Ji Please Bless Them 
with a happy married life please bless them with the love and affection and please bless them with the big family wahe guru ji ki fateh you okay Thanks again for coming, honey. Oh, pleasure. Oh, it's very magical <laughs> to see a couple so in love and devoted, surrounded by friends, joy and celebration. She didn't fancy this bit then. said back there with your husband and I was wrong too oh, I know now I was wrong to <sighs> deny how I feel <sighs> it's you Eve <sighs> you How did your meeting go? Not as well as I'd hoped, but I got bigger problems to be honest. This business up in Leeds with Ishan, I'm worried. What about? Ishan's son. Apparently, he's got himself into a bit of debt, gambling, women. No, look, I'm not one for rumours, but I know his mum. And the last time we met, she denied it, of course. But she was looking very tired. and a mother knows her kids best right i think you take the firmer hand up in needs regular visits face to face meetings make sure this family expansion isn't helping to finance a degenerate gambler yeah maybe you're right i've convinced nish to take the bigger hand with this expansion in needs which means weekends away from here maybe weeks She leaves us alone. No interruptions. <laughs> so here's to being happy. Cheers. There she is. What's this? This is the bottle of red I told you about this morning. To celebrate our expansion in Leeds. To... celebrate us Do you mind if I join you? You could do with it after the kick in the teeth today. <clears throat> do you know what I would have done in prison to be sat opposite my wife with a glass of wine? and how I'm capable of those, right? Do you know how I survived in there? Any idea? I used this. See, I've always known how to make people do what I want. And I've only ever met one person who's as good as it is I am. My darling wife. Did you say to her that she was like you? Question if she was capable. <laughs> oh, well played. You had me fooled too. 
I don't know whether you think too much or too little of me. Do you honestly believe I wanted my daughter to go to Canada? <laughs> I mean, that's insane. <laughs> she wants her freedom. But she doesn't know what freedom is. Neither do you. You only know what freedom is when it's taken away from you. This is my family. I sit at the head. I decide what's best for us. Don't you ever forget that. Okay, so shall we sort out this paperwork? Eve is my lawyer. Except she struck off. Did a stretch with GBH. Let's not pretend this is all strictly legal, right, June? Two sugars, no milk. So, Govinda, would you make our guest a coffee, please? Two sugars. We'll take 15% of everything we launder. The arrangement is 10. Was 10, with Phil. It's now 15. Given your track record, trying to drive hard bargains with businessmen like that... Nish, you bulldozer over enough people. Ranveer ended up dead. I don't want you in over your head. And she is meant to be your wife! Hey, do you mind? When you have a proper marriage... Proper? When you find some woman crazy enough to love you... Cra crazy enough to love me, yeah? Right, OK, stop yeah, you, this, you want to do this now? This do you? is family, Eve. It doesn't concern you. I won't have you speak to her like that. How I speak to my wife is not really? your... Think you know it all? Stop this! You? My husband's right. This is family business. I can fight me own battles. You made me do that. If you weren't with him, if he wasn't here, would you and me... Would you even be interested? But he is here. I know, I'm just saying... Look, I know that it hurts. Okay. And I wish it didn't. I wish what I'm doing... What I'm putting you through was easier. But I have got to do this my way, Eve. I've got to do this at my own pace. I know, and I get that. I don't want to push you. But you just nearly told him. I really don't. And if I have to wait, like I always said, I will wait. But I just need to know for me that if he wasn't here, would what we've got, would we make it? You know, when you said to me that it was the best thing that ever happened to you, did you mean it? Every single word. <laughs> Whiskey, please. <clears throat> I've got something you might be interested in. Look, if this is anything to do with my ex missus causing dramas, I just. It's not. It's in more a work capacity. Well, anything that's going to help me bring that man down, break his faults out of boy. mean it. If you want to turn informant, I'll pay you for your time. It's not Ravi. I'm handing you Nish Panasar's head on a plate. If we do this, we're going to do this properly. If. What? You said if we go ahead with this, is that your way of trying to tell me to forget it? Because just say it, OK? No, it's my way of saying that I've had my fill of people letting me down. All right, if we do this, we're going to do it properly. You think I'm not serious, is that it? But I can't deliver or something? I'll call you. Because I can.
I need some paperwork from the call centre. Um, I was wondering if I could borrow the keys for the back office. Yeah, I'll go get them for you. Right, cool. Can I hear you? <laughs> Is everything OK? Yeah, at least she's a bit burnt. I don't think you realise how formidable we can be. <laughs> That'll be him now. No, he's been doing this all morning. Yeah. What about this? Have you thought about that? Just... <sighs> Trying to reassert his authority, I suppose. Yeah. Well, not much longer. What does that mean? There's a paper jam. <laughs> Happens all the time. Ah, there you go. All done. What are you doing? Hey. You can't see this. I hardly think it's your place to tell me what I can and cannot see in my own business. Show me. Now. Hush, please. I said now. So you would never forgive me. It would it would ruin everything. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nish. Next Monday, what day is it? Uh, it's your birthday surprise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll hold. Is that the VAT? Yeah, just finishing it off. Don't trust me to do it. That's the way it's done. We help each other out however we can. Teamwork. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Just give me a minute, will you? No, why don't you go and relax? Put your feet up. I'll finish this and bring you some tea. OK. Yeah, thank you. So we're missing an invoice for a stay at your hotel last weekend, from the 6th to the 10th. Yeah. It's in the name of Suki Panasar. She was travelling with a business associate, Eve Unwin. Now, we have an invoice for that room, Miss Unwin's room, but nothing for Suki Panasar. Oh, I don't understand. Check again for me, please. The booking was for just one room. Probably just a misunderstanding. Yeah, exactly. An embarrassing one, though. <laughs> Having some hotel clerk telling me my wife wasn't where she was supposed to be. I was where I was supposed to be. I told you about the meetings I had. I showed you the notes I made. Are you showing me the signed contracts? Yeah, exactly. But the hotel is still adamant that only one room was booked, which... just doesn't make sense, does it? Doing it again, aren't you? I'm just telling you what the hotel told me. Just like last time, jump into conclusions. And look what happened then. Nothing did happen then. I don't know how many times I have to swear that to you. So does that mean that something's happened now? So now you're twisting my words. Nothing happened then, and nothing has happened now. Like I said, it's probably just a simple misunderstanding. So let's just get it all out in the open then, shall we? You explain, we clear it up, we move on. Is that simple? Won't take too long, will it? It's OK. No. 
I'm not going to explain anything. Someone else can. What? Well, you want to know what happened? You want the truth? Come on. So you were staying in Leeds. My wife was staying in Leeds. But only one room was actually booked in your name. So, where was my wife staying? She was staying there. Then how do you explain that booking? For just one room. Tell him, Eve. Tell him the truth. Suki was staying there. How many times? I was staying somewhere else. What? An old flame of mine moved up there a month or so ago, and I was looking her up. And I asked Suki not to say anything, because I didn't think you would appreciate me mixing business with pleasure. Hopefully, the purchase agreement for the Vic will be coming soon. So, next fiscal year should be looking good. Is that it? What? Is that all you've got to say? Oh, I'm glad we cleared all that up. Yeah, yeah it's just due diligence. It's what? Yeah, water under the bridge. Eve's explained. What else is it to say? You said a lot of things. But the one thing you haven't said is sorry. I'm not living like this, Nish. <laughs> Tiptoeing around you, making allowances, turning a blind eye to your moods, forgiving your accusations. I did that the last time you ranted and raved at me about a man I had nothing to do with. And look how that turned out with me raising our family single-handedly for the next 20 years. Have you ever thought that maybe you might be happier if we weren't living like this? If there wasn't a me and you? How can you say that? Well, at least you wouldn't be tormenting yourself. No, I probably shouldn't be here, but... Oh, you must be in shock. What am I going to do? I know you were hoping that they'd go easier on him. What are you talking about? Kira. <gasps> what about him? Right, um... I spoke to my mate, they work at the court, and I... I, 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 think, I think you should phone his no, solicitor. you tell me. You tell me. <laughs> Is going to implicate him because he, he got rid of the body, right? Yeah. So, so that 
You know who kept this. And it's the man who's always trying to control you. No, how did Nish get hold of it? Because the police brought back the laptop, didn't they? Yeah, but the, the video was deleted already. No, nothing is ever really deleted. You can get software to retrieve all sorts of data, if you really want to. Oh, God. Um, the laptop. OK. What's wrong? Edith got life. What am I gonna do, Eve? We need to get hold of that USB stick and destroy it because the police can never, ever, ever see them. But what if the police do see it? Well, they'd have to let Edith go then. You can't be serious. No, but he, he doesn't deserve to be locked up. But neither do you, and that's exactly what would happen. I've got to do this for my son, and I wouldn't expect you to understand. No, no. something? No. It's just him. Are you sure? I think you broke one of the runners. Yeah. Friends again? Give it to me. I'm not going to let Kidith write in prison. I'm going to go to the police. Won't let I'm... you do this. Nice. I said no! I love you. Then let me have it. Fine. I get the police to come around here and search the place. No! It is over, Nish. Don't do this. I've made up my mind. Why are you punishing yourself? He's my son. But Kira doesn't want this. I mean, we, we, we can appeal. We, we can get his sentence reduced. A few years won't make a difference. His life will be over. Major decision, and I respect that. I made some char. Needs a bit longer to brew, but I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Unless you want something stronger. You wiped it. You let me walk in there knowing it was blank. You thought I'd just let you confess to murder. I told them everything. They thought I was lying just to get my son off the hook. Well, with a bit of luck, they won't keep the paperwork from the interview. I was humiliated. The pity in their eyes, you know, you had no right. I love our son. But if I had to choose between losing you and him, there's no contest. No, if we run... He won't stop until he finds us. We, um, we need to bide our time. <laughs> we've, we've been biding our time for months. <sighs> What's changed? I am. Uh... <sighs> 
believe that I love you. We are going to get rid of Nish for good. I promise. You and your father are two very different people. And that's a good thing, Vinny. You're warm and kind. And just because there is a path laid out in front of you, it doesn't mean you have to walk it. I want you to be happy. It is only when I stopped trying to be something I wasn't that I found out what happiness was. Are you all right, Mum? Nish? What are you doing home? I'm lucky to be home. Somebody talk to the police. Who did you tell, Vinny? That I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> Vinny! 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 It was me, all right. He told me about the job, and I called the police. Why? Because I don't love you. And I don't think I ever have. You stood in that kitchen and told me that you pour the wine, that you sit at the head of the table. Well, guess what? I prefer brandy. And I, I don't want to sit at your table. I spent my whole life trying to be someone I'm not supposed to. I want to speak to your mother alone. That's what your father said. Oh. You are my wife. You will love me. You're mine. And you always will be. I love you more than anything in this world, Suki. And I won't stop until you feel the same. I'll go and find Vinny. I'll apologize and then. I'll come back and take care of my wife. You know, I'm struggling to adjust. And I know your mother is too. I can see that now. You know, things will get better. Because I know that your mother loves me. She's just not in love with me at the minute. And it's my job to make that happen. And so, I forgive her. And I hope you'll forgive me too. Yeah. What happened? Well, they found out about the tip off and they didn't go through with it. And I told him I didn't love him. Yeah, he's over there with Vinny at the moment. And Vinny will be fine. But we are still leaving tonight, OK? Because I would rather die than spend another second as his wife. Done. How could he think that? I just found her like this. Get an ambulance, go! Ambulance. Ambulance, please. Ravi, where's Nish? It's okay. Mm. I've got you. Mum, you, you, you're gonna be okay. 
Do you, do, do, do you remember what happened, oh, Mum? She must have fallen down the stairs. And stop fussing and get some water. And where's the ambulance? Man, if a job is worth doing. Hey, 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 hey. Call them again. I'll take over from here. Go on. Along. Come on, she's in here. Yeah, I don't want you to panic, but I've just seen Suki go to hospital in an ambulance. What, 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 what's happened? I, I don't know, but Nish was with her. What's he done to her? Does he know? I don't know. Eve. What are you doing here? I just saw the ambulance. Dad. How's Mum? I don't know, man. It won't tell us anything. Vinny said she fell. Yeah, I just... It's found her. There, you know, just... I can't lose her. No, I just got her back. You know. What happened? You must have just fallen down the stairs. But why were you rushing? Mrs. Panasar, you've suffered enormous trauma. This is your body releasing that shock. It might help you to remember what happened. Surprise Nish with a weekend away. I saw fear in your eyes. You know what he's like with surprises. You take care of yourself. You had a rough night. All the endless whispering. I thought you were sleeping. We were just discussing last week. I know you were discussing, Mum. No. I know she's not well. I've told you the scan was good. It's just a few broken ribs. And they'll heal in no time. She's okay, son. She's not, though, is she? She hasn't been right for weeks. She she called the police on you last week. She what? Yeah. Yeah, Rafi, it was Mum. She called the police on her husband. How is that normal behaviour? No. Doesn't make sense. The tears, the arguments. We've spoken about this. I guess even Mum has her breaking point where she just can't take it anymore. What if she did this on purpose? Mom. Try to kill her. 
kill herself. Have you remembered anything more? Oh, he... It's okay, we both know what he's capable Look, of. Look, he doesn't know anything. The affair, me leaving. Can you be 100% sure? Right. So if he does know, how likely is it that he pushed you, given his history? Highly likely. Yeah. And if he doesn't know, how long till Ravi blabs? I've already told you. He thinks it's a surprise trip for Nish. Why do you think he believed that? Suki, you need to try and stay in here for as long as you can. You are not safe at that house. I will not let him hurt you. Perfect timing in my absence. <laughs> Bit of a wasted trip, though, I'm afraid. I was spoken to the doctor. Told her what a lovely support network you have. Your husband, kids, even Eve. They've agreed to discharge you. You're well enough to come home. When? Today. We can give you a lift. No, I... I, I insist. Think... Hey, Mum. Thanks, bud. We can uh, watch a film. <sighs> I'm tired, Papa. We can just chat. I know we don't do that often. You must miss uh, Kira and Ash. You can talk to me too. Mother's supposed to be resting, Vinny. Give her some space. Stop pushing me out. I just want to help her and give her a break. What good's that? I need her to talk. Look, I know you don't want to go there, but I think that... I know what you think, and you're wrong. I mean, what is it with you, man? I spend the weekend clearing up your mess at work. Finding someone else to lend us the money we need. I do not need us at home, too. Let's get to the chippy. Get some food. And something for Nugget. He'll be back soon. If anything happens to her, I will never forgive you. Hey, I'm just checking that Suki's okay. She's fine, thank you. Would you mind giving her these? Tell her I'm thinking about her. Make sure she gets some. Thanks. Everything good? I didn't want to believe it, but... But then they kept trying to tell me. You know, when you reported me to the police, I saw that nothing could hurt more than that. But the idea that you could feel so low, so trapped in our marriage, so key that you try and hurt yourself deliberately. Vinny thought I'd. You think I threw myself down the stairs? Maybe this is the wake-up call we both needed. Just let me look after you. Show you that I am the husband that you deserve. He didn't do it. Well, he's he's got a history of threats and violence to so just tell the police that and let them make up their own minds. I'm not sending another innocent man to prison. I won't. You were happy enough to call the police on him last week? Yeah. For something he did. I want to nail this for something he actually did. For something he'll go down for. Something that'll let me sleep at night. Okay? What does this mean for us? It means we wait for the right time. I'm sorry. D. 
DS Miles, Wolford Police Station. May we come in, please? We'd like to speak to Suki Panasar. What about? I'd rather speak to her. Has your husband ever hit you, Mrs. Panasar? <laughs> no. <laughs> who's, who's said this? Oh, I'm not at liberty to disclose, but perhaps you could come down to the station. Give us a statement. This is ridiculous. My wife has just come out of hospital. Well, you could come down the station, Mr. Panasar. Save your wife doing it. Fine. Let's go. Clear this up. Daddy? What's going on? It's nothing. Don't worry. You stay with your daddy, she'll call your dad, all right? But you won't be long. It was an accident. Don't put the letter. Under that, come on. Help me, Chief. I didn't. It's okay, honestly. cared about me, you would stop this. Am I disturbing something? No, no. I was just was checking in on a friend. All right. I'll see you soon, OK? It was good of Eve to uh, come over and check up on a friend. And if she cared about you, she would have stopped it. I was upset. I was just taking it out on her. Well, she does care about you, doesn't she? She worked her way right into this family. Dad's legal advisor. And then there's those trips to Leeds you do. She came running to the hospital when you fell. And when Dad gets arrested, She's one of the first people on your doorstep. Was it her? Did she call the police on Dad? No, Vinny, give me back my... What have you got to hide? Just nothing. Just give it back. There's um, no calls to the police, but a few calls to Eve today. What about messages? None to Eve. No. Nope. Ever. Now that, that's suspicious. <laughs> I know, let's, let's start uh, a new one. Should we go on a little fishing trip? No, just, Vinny. What about this? Why have you done this? No, don't, don't send that. To me. I think it was Mitch who, who called them. Or maybe some other gossip on the square. Only one way to find out. No! I just want to be with you. <laughs> oh. is, is she the person you've been seeing behind Dad's back? Are you and Eve a thing? She was the one you were leaving with. I wanted to tell you. I thought that when you realised how trapped I am, how scared I am of your father, that you'd want to help me. Help you? Yeah. I hate you. You're breaking up our family. <laughs> and when Dad's released, I'm telling him everything. Oh, 
no, no, no. Can you please no. come back and talk to me? The only person I'm talking to is Dad. He needs to know what he's married into. No, stop! of destroying her life. Good. Good. He literally killed a man with his bare hands. I mean, he ended a man's life. She wasn't even having an affair with him. You're scared he's coming for you. Is that <sighs> Your mum is an incredibly proud woman <laughs> who loves her kids. And she might not always show it. And I know she can be a little bit suffocating. She's infuriating at times, but she does <laughs> love you to her core. You're blowing the secret will wreck the chance of you ever having any sort of relationship with her in the future because Nish will not allow it. Our choice. No, Vinny, it's yours. She stood in front of the Gianni and let him bless her marriage when she was having an affair with you. I know. I know. It's awful. It is awful. I don't want you blowing everything up because you're angry, you know? Mm. Just take a day or two to think about it. <sighs> no, talk to your mum. And say what? Just listen to her. Just try to understand, just like Kira did. If there's any part of you that still loves her, you'll hear her out before you speak to your dad. People were always calling me a mummy's boy. <laughs> Taking the mickey out of me because all I ever wanted to do was impress you. And I hated that because they were right. I love you. I love you so much, I do. But you're just a cheat. <laughs> I've spoken to Eve. And you may think that you're in love with her. But what does real life with her look like, Mum? How does that really work? I have forgiven you for Jax. For the way that you treated Ash when she came out. For letting Kira take the blame from fear. But if you choose Eve over us, over your family, then I won't be able to forgive you again. I will take this secret to the grave. But you have to go over there now and end things with Eve for good. It's definitely over between you, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. percent why should you keep looking at you? Look, contrary to what you think, Vinny, I can't control everyone. <sighs> well, someone needs to. The only one that's happy is Nish. And Vinny. If they're happy... Did she get the message? Did she? Leave it. Mum. Move. So, I think we need to go down to Brighton with Felix. Come on. Why don't you take Emily? She's over at the arches. We can need to mend that broken heart. Oh, yeah. Road trip. You know? <laughs> kind of get over one girl by getting under the next. <laughs> you like that? Are you going to lend me a car? Oh, oh, oh. Emily isn't just a car. She makes dreams come true. Come on, go home, pack a bag and start your adventure. Do 
Do you know what? Yeah. I know a good thing when it stares me in the face. Play all you want. This obsession with my mum needs to stop now. It's not an obsession. We were in love. <laughs> and you can threaten me all you like. You can keep her under lock and key. But you can't change who she is on the inside. And one day, when she gets the courage, she's going to walk out of that door and be free. I'm warning you. <laughs> Do your worst. Vinny, I need you to call me back. Please, don't do anything stupid. is just wanting it. We need to go to the police. We've got to make a formal statement. It's OK. The police need evidence, and we don't have any. I know, Denise. But we have to try. Gilead is in prison for something he didn't do. Well, Jack is worried about any pushback for him. And I made a promise to Chelsea that I will keep my head down. You'd be doing this for Chelsea. If Ravi is capable of killing the man who raised him, who knows what else he'll do? It could be Chelsea next. They're not together anymore. Until he convinces her otherwise. Well, look, you're so keen to make a statement, I'm not stopping you. If this is going to work, it has to be the both of us. Ravi Galati is the one who killed Renveed. Have you got evidence of this? Well, I watched the whole thing on video. But, um, uh, unfortunately, it's... It's since been destroyed, but well, I see. Well, surely a statement of what she saw means you have to reopen the investigation. Mrs. Panisar, I understand how difficult it can be having a loved one in prison. This isn't about me. This is about the truth. Girit is innocent. On the 19th of the 4th, 2023, you produced a blank USB stick you claim contained evidence you're the real killer. And now you claim Mr. Galati's son killed him, as evidenced by... nothing. Please. You've got to listen to us. Go home, ladies. So you did try and make a statement before. I was afraid if I told you, you wouldn't come. Well, of course I wouldn't have. You drag me down here to humiliate me, put my, my husband's career on the line. I'm sorry, all right? I was desperate. I knew it was a long shot, but I had to try. We're done. him in the eye and you know what I saw? <sighs> Nothing. That man doesn't feel an ounce of guilt. 
I'm sorry. I lied to you, Denise. But I am desperate. Get it, the... And Jigvi died in prison. We did the best that we can, Suki. But we don't have any evidence. What if we got a confession? Hey, I can arrange to meet Ravi. I can convince him to tell the truth. And I'll record it somehow. And then, that way, the police will have to take us seriously. I know I haven't earned your trust. I just need to know if I can get the evidence. Will you back me? If it gets that animal put away for good. Thank you. But how are you going to convince him? Well, don't you worry about that. You just leave all of that to me, OK? You and I need to sit down together. Denise is still spreading gossip. Any holes in our stories and we're just handing them more ammunition. All for Denise. About six. Somewhere where we won't have people looking over our shoulders. The Albert then. Dinner time rush. Oh, no problems. Um, it's a little bit loud in here. Do you think you could turn? What? Ruin everyone's night by sucking the atmosphere out of the room. <laughs> yeah, loud is that upstairs. A fun vibe, ain't you, thing? Lovely. Thanks. Talk to someone. Someone on your side. Ravi, for your sake, please don't bottle this all up. Davinda needs you to be a good dad. And you can't do that if you're wrestling with all of this. You're right. You gonna answer her? You should, it might be important. <laughs> Hello, Suki Benissa. It's cute. It's only a broken leg, though, right? This time. You all right? What's happened? Something's going on, isn't there? Because Amy says Chelsea's gone away and now you're sitting there like someone died. It's nothing, but... I'm not stupid. I'm not a kid. If you really want to know... Your father has a side to him that he doesn't want you to see. He's cold and uncaring. And he hurts people. And I think maybe he enjoys it. What are you talking about? I am talking about the real Ravi Gulati. The one who is capable of doing terrible things. Stop the it. The one who is capable of taking a life. You ask him. You ask him how your Babaji really died. And when you do, you look him dead in the eye. And then you'll know whether he's lying or not.
but listen, I don't care about stock deliveries right now. I need to keep this line free today. Yeah? Don't call me again. Tell me you've heard from Nugget. I was all last night open to hear his keys in the door. Denise, man. I... If you had dealt with her slander in the first place, none of this would have happened. I can't have my grandson on these streets for another night. We're calling the police. You better hope they can help us find him for your sake. You think I don't already? Hey? The thought of him being out there on his own? We should have called the police the second he went missing. Wait, if you weren't too concerned about hiding what you did to her and Reed. Mum, Ravi, this is PC Nash. Got a few questions about your son. Yeah. I know this can't be easy, but with Nugget's age and how long he's been gone, we are treating his case as extremely high risk. I promise we'll do everything we can. Me and Ravi will show you over to the flat now, OK? Hello? The Vinderput? No, 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 you're not in trouble. You're not... It's all right. I just, just tell me that you're okay. Yeah. It's a couple of months old. That's fine. I'll get in the missing persons report filed now. If you hear from him, let us know. Yeah. Thank you. do this. I need to find him. I'll come with you. No, I'll bring him back myself. We'll cover more ground with both. Don't need anyone's help! But you do need to tell me if he's messaged you. Okay. Um, well, what's it going to take? <sighs> money. Well, I've got money. I've, but I know you like trainers, yeah? So you can buy yourself a new pair. I just... Just Ravi, I, I don't know anything. I don't. Please, just tell me what we don't doing. know anything. This isn't my fault. It's yours. I'm just going round and round in my head every single day about how I could have been a better mate to him. When you're the one he wanted to get away from, you're the one who let him down. It's your fault. He's gone, man. It's all your fault! The mouths of babes, eh? If anything happens to him, Suki, I swear your life will not be worth living. Maybe not. But take it from someone who's lost a son. You're going to be hurting for the rest of your life. Police have washed their hands on my son. He's just another statistic. Not worth the flyers. He's pretty done. Jack, we try to call you. My battery's died. There's been a sighting in Brixton. Brixton? Who well, saw him? Well, one of our guys. Well, and they let him get away. And you lot are useless. Are you okay? Hi, Daddy. Look, I need some cash. Can you transfer it? Where are you? I'll bring it to you. No. I'll, uh, I'll meet you somewhere. Vinder, the police have seen you in Brixton. What? You just need to stay put, all right? And I'll come to you. 
Okay. All right. And bring some food, please. Chalo, tike. What's the address? Flat 61. Yeah. Who's that? I can't talk right now. Who's in flat 61? Stop lying, Suki. You know where he is. Don't be ridiculous. Now get out of my If anything happens to him and you knew. If I knew where he was, I'd tell you. Wouldn't I? I can't believe this is happening to her. It's a difficult time, Nish. You know what the worst thing is? It's the not knowing. I mean, anyone could have him hold up. They could be hurting him. He could be crying out for it. He might already be dead. Oh, he's not dead. What do you mean? Well, nothing. We just have to believe that, right? Who called you earlier? Ashneet. And she'll confirm that, will she? No, don't. Start talking. It's OK. Hey! Suki! Suki, wait! Not now, I've been calling No, Nora. I need you to track my dad's car. I didn't know where Nugget is. I've told you already, I'm okay. Okay? This place is a pigsty. Govinda, we're just relieved to see you. I know there's been some vicious rumours flying around. You must be very confused, but... If we can just sit down with your dad... I don't want to see him, Dada! I hate him! Nugget! Nugget! Daddy! No, I didn't, I didn't! Stay at this place. Come here. No, don't come near me! Come here. I don't want you here! Be like that, please. You can't be here. You, you have to leave now. I take it someone's going to pay to get my door fixed. If I'd have known we had guests, I'd have bought cream cakes. Who are you? Good question, Anson. Who am I, Ravi? We're going. No. No. No, I'm not losing her again. I'm not leaving your side, baby. You're not going to keep me away from my son again. Not ever. Get off me! Vinny! Put me down, Dad! Shut the door! What's wrong no, with get you? Get him! So he was with his mum. Right, just go to work, Vinny. Now he can stay, because I'm going. You ain't going nowhere. Now sit down! What are you going to do, Dad? Keep me in here like it's a prison. You're the one who should be locked up! Davindad, your mum is taking advantage of a lie. Denise... It's a jealous woman lashing out, and you got caught in the crossfire. Now, who told you this rubbish? Denzel? Amy? Daddy told me. And I believe her. You're just gonna sit there and say nothing? You know something isn't right, Nish. You can see it in his face, you can hear it in his voice. He's hiding something, and you know it. I didn't want Divinda to run away. And I didn't tell him to hurt him. I told him because I believe it. Gideth is in prison for a crime I thought I committed. When all the while it was Ravi. He's the one who killed Ranveed. He is the reason Gideth is behind bars. Enough. If you care about this family, it's okay. Gideth killed Ranveed. No, no, no. That is our truth. He didn't. And I care about my son. He didn't kill you. Okay. Kid, what? No! Killed. All right, okay. Ranvi. Oh, no, he didn't. No! Killed her. No! He killed Ranvi. No! He okay. didn't! I need to hear you say it, woman. All right, all right. Okay, come okay. on. Okay. Kid, what? Kid, what? Kill. Kill. Ranvi. Ranvi. Yes. Yes. No! Oh. 
Can we get anybody a drink? Something to eat? Not at the moment, thank you. Is there anything you'd like to tell me about this disagreement? Uh, it was just... It was just about school stuff. That's it. OK. That's everything we need. You have my card in case you've forgotten anything. Amazing work, everybody. You kept him quiet. Well done. Thank you for believing me. <laughs> he don't believe you, Ravi. Look at him. He doesn't want to be here. He doesn't want to be around you. Ask him. Something ain't right. I know it ain't. <laughs> so tell me the truth, or I'm gone. And I ain't coming back. You said... Yeah, I know what I said. And I was wrong. Denise hates your dad. And I miss my son. It's what I wanted to believe. I am sorry. Go on, go! Yeah, if you come back here, I'll... Oh, you're what? Kill me and all? I'm going. Don't worry about it. He'll come to his senses soon enough. Now, Dad, you don't understand. Priya, wait. No, you don't understand. She left you. She left you because she loved drugs more than a baby. Look, let her go, son. She's not fit to be a... Mum? Mum? Say hello to your dad, Avani. This guy? Really? I've always wanted to go to India, trace my roots. All I had to do was jump on the district line. This is ridiculous. She ain't mine, she can't be. She's 14. I was pregnant when I left, you do the maths. It's true, Dad. She didn't even want to tell you about her. <sighs> a granddaughter? Uh, to balance out the grandsons? Wow. Just what we needed. You know, for someone who left her son and hid her door, you've got a lot of front. <laughs> you think this is funny? You should be crying like your son did when you left. Well, is that funny, huh? The old man really did a number on you too, didn't he? I didn't rob my son of a mother. Or my daughter of a dad. Ramveer did. Look at you. Sat there like you didn't know what Ramveer was capable of. He told me I was nothing but a junkie who dragged his family down that his son could do better. Didn't stop him trying it on with me, though, did it? I had to fight like mad, but I got away. Next day, he put 200 quid in my hand and told me to leave. Said he knew people who'd bury me if I ever came back. I had no choice. I was scared of him too, you know. I would have killed him for a daughter. I would have killed him for a daughter. But you never called. You never knocked. So our daughter had to suffer, didn't she? Hmm? Because I do know you. And I can take a wild guess at the life she's had. So if I'm the bad guy, what's that make you? Hmm? Yeah. Rambia did deserve to die, but at least he saved our son from you. And yeah, he was right. I could do better. And I'll tell you one more thing. Me and my son have done better. <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah, that's good. Avani Tavinda, we're going. Look, just sit down, yeah? Now. We're going now. Davinda? OK, look, um, just, just hold on a bit. I'm sorry for what I said. Rambeer was scum and he never saved anybody from anything. And I'm sorry you lost your son over him, but I lost my daughter too. I don't want to see her. 
being alive. I can help. Both of you. So why don't we wipe the slate clean and start again? Hmm? I don't need to start again. I just start on my own and I made it. I don't need your money or your help, Ravi, because if he was scum, what does it make you for letting him get away with it? She's my little girl and she doesn't need you. And sooner or later, my son will come home when he realises that we can do better than you. Make you feel good, does it? Chucking kids out of their homes. Right, come on. Stop arguing and start feeling that. Come you on. know the drill. Kate. Come on, just get your stuff and go. Right, that's it. Yeah, we're Quick coming. Up. Yeah. You don't need to put your hands on me, thank you very much. <sighs> Family reunion? What's happened? You are right? right? We've been evicted. The landlord didn't like our faces. And the fact you didn't pay the rent. Well, that's hardly her fault, is it? Where's your mum? She's, uh, she's checking out a lead she got on a hostel up north somewhere. I've just come to say goodbye. Well, um, I'll see you then. Wait. My daughter ain't living in some shabby bedsit miles away. You can have my flat. I'll get our stuff. Not you, her. You're on your own. He ain't taking my daughter. And you ain't my dad. I don't know you. See? Your friend, then. What? You want to be friends with a 14-year-old? Are you a pervert? Enough! Priya's right. You can't take a mother away from its child. Are you taking her side? She's just saying what's right. Look, Priya, could I spend some time with Avani before you go? Go? Yeah. Give us all a chance to say goodbye before you head off. Right. Yeah, I get this at you, but me and my daughter ain't got nowhere to sleep tonight. No, you don't need to call social. I can take care of my kid. I just need help. I'm not shouting. I'm sorry. I just... Please don't take her away from me. I'll sort it, I promise. Here we are. <laughs> OK. We've been evicted. Again. No wonder Ravi don't want me anywhere near Nugget. Not that great of a mum now, eh? I always wanted a granddaughter. And I think she's fantastic. Ivani's taken a real shine to you lot. Now we've got to move on. We've loved meeting her, you know? And her and Nugget are like two peas in a pod. <laughs> I'll see you soon. And call me, in time. Hey. Thanks for it. I message you. You know, I, I like being a big brother. I know we ain't spent much time together, but you're my boy, yeah? I love you. You're not going anywhere. I am on to you. You may have fooled him, but I know who you really are. Oh, yeah. But this is your home now. And anyone who's got a problem with it knows where the door is. She giving you hassle? No, not at all. Well, I'll be back late tonight. 
Back to back meetings all day. I hope they go well. This is it, Finney. I need to go. I need to leave. Today? Right now. This is it, then. It's really goodbye. No, more like, see you later. You were right what you said the other day, that you've always done what's expected of you. But now, now this is your time to find out who you really are. To breathe. And there's only one way you can do that. I've already told Eve how I feel. I tried. Well, maybe you need to try harder. Finney. Look, do you, do you remember what you always told me growing up? That as long as I gave it my absolute everything, had no regrets, then that's OK. Don't have any more regrets, Mum. Just tell me where she is, Stacey. She has met someone who isn't ashamed of who she is. Someone she can hold hands with in public, kiss in a room full of people. She doesn't have to hide away. Something that you can't and never will be able to give her. Look, I understand that it's been hard for you, Suki, not being able to be the person that you are. I mean, I, I get it. I do no, get it. I don't get it. You don't get it at all. Eve. I, um... I owe you an apology for splitting you and Mum up. Yeah, she said you'd suddenly given us your blessing. It's really good of you, Vinny, but it's a little bit late. Or maybe not. I didn't tell you this, but she's left my dad, and now she's about to leave Walford too for good. She hasn't even said goodbye. Well, Mum thought you'd moved on, that you found someone else. It's over. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the one you should be telling. The tube is a messed up. It's gonna call a cab. Oh, well, let's just give it a few more hours. Um, so I want to be here for Stacey anyway when she hears about the court case. So just a little bit more time and then... And then we do it properly. Together. OK. OK. <laughs> okay. I left him a letter. Oh, Nish. Go. Go. <sighs> Paperwork. It's for a delivery today. I thought you were in meetings all day. Uh, I push my one o'clock. I thought it'd be all hands on deck at the shop. Just came back to get this. Reckon you and me need to chat. Yeah, not now, Priya. Oh, sorry, forgot. You've got a train to catch, haven't you? Dear Nish, this is the last time you'll ever hear from me. I don't know what you're talking about. My family have always been my heart and lungs. I won't get very far without your heart and lungs, auntie. 
<laughs> I didn't think you had it in ya. She doesn't know about you, but she knows I'm having an affair. Anish can't find out, Eve. Not until we've had a head start. Yeah, I know. I know what it's capable of. Do you want me to speak to her? Just put the scarers on her. What, well, and have the police tell us all the way to Brighton? Oh, so we are going to Brighton then. I can try and give her some money. Nish can see everything that comes out of the joint account, but I've got some of my own. Mm-hmm. I wanted to use it for our future. You saved money for us? Well, <laughs> I saved money for me to leave him. But if I don't do something, they won't be in us. You rang? Two thousand pounds. I get you the cash today. Oh, when we go back to playing happy families, you looking down your nose at me for the rest of my life. I asked Nish to meet us here. No, you didn't. You don't think I'd cover my back? Two thousand pounds, take it or leave it. <laughs> you really think you can buy me off, yeah? It's an investment for you and Avani. And what happens when you go bye-bye? And Nish kicks us out again. Well, that won't happen if we have an agreement. It won't happen. Because when I tell him what you're up to, he's going to be so grateful. Suki's got something she wants to tell you. Ain't that right, auntie? The takings at the shop are up this month. Must be all that pre-Christmas footfall. So we are a step closer to the refurbishment. Although, I wouldn't have called that an emergency. That couldn't have waited till I got home. I thought it was nice. Everyone likes a bit extra, you know? Maybe you should give the extra cash to Vinny. He's always helping out around here. Proper little mummy's boy, ain't he? That's what I love about you, Panasars. Always looking out for family. I have got time for this. You leave my boy out of it, understand? I really thought you were some big gangster, yeah? Suki Panasar. Taken down by this little stray dog. Reckon you forgot I could bite. I want that money for Avani. Three grand, not two, by the end of the day. You keep your mouth shut. Not a word to Nish about Vinny, do you understand? I hope he's worth it, this guy. Mm. Afternoon. What are you up to? I'm just at the minute mark getting a few bits. I'm cooking tonight. So you at home later? No way. Three thousand pounds. You're too easy. No wonder Lover Boy made a move. Was that him calling? I'm not handing this over until you agree. Agree to, to what? Why are you stealing from me, Suki? What are you hiding? I offered her a fresh start. It's still close by. She is the mother of your grandchildren. I see. The family don't steal from family. You can have your job back in the shop. Earn your own money. And you and Avani will continue to live in a family home. If you're okay with that. Oh, she is. And she will be setting two spaces for you and Avani at dinner tonight. Ah, you said on the phone you were going to cook. Yeah. Fresh start for all of us. Did my lies do the trick? <coughs> do tell you're the mistress of deceit. You're a malignancy. Oh, I love a game of word association. Uh, adulterer. That's 200. You get the rest tomorrow. I'll transfer it by midnight, the earliest I can do. When I was young, I was told that being gay was wrong. My dad said it was a syndrome. But now it's just me, it's just a part of who I am, but it took me like a whole lifetime to get there. And just getting started and I just need to remember how long it um, how long it took me to be able to say the word mm -hmm. lesbian without um, without feeling 
a hangover of shame. So if we're still leaving tonight, we will go at your pace. As long as we do it together, I will never mention rainbow kimonos again. Where did you get those? <laughs> It's a pity because I was um, actually getting used to it. <laughs> I cashed up. The till was down. Do you count it properly? Yes. Again and again. We're um, 200 quid down against the till receipts. I know exactly what it would have taken it. Apologies, everyone. I have a business issue to attend to. I'll, um, I'll enjoy the feast. Ready for your new life. I'll see you at the tube station. Half an hour. I'll see you there. We won, Suki. We did. We won. Tell me. I'm your son. I saw Suki. Suki and Eve. Kissing. What? They were kissing. In the minute mind. It's now on CCTV. No, you must have got it wrong. It's okay, can't be. No, I know she's not. I should know. First things first, you go find out the truth. Yeah? But what's going on? Oh, don't you worry, I'm gonna find out. And I'm gonna break her face doing it. No, 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 no. That's not a smart move. You go back over there, whack her one, you know exactly where that's gonna lead. You, back inside the Eve. Laughing all over her face. So what do you want me to do, man? Roll out a red carpet? Oh, oh. Invite Eve over for a sleepover? Go home, Dad. Talk to Suki. Just talk. Play cool. Play it smart. I know what's going on. I know. I've seen it. What happened? 
Did you hear what I said? What have you done to her? Nothing. I've not done anything to her. You're the one who stuck your tongue down her throat. She doesn't love oh, you! Oh, and you know! She told me! She doesn't love you! I don't know what you're talking she about! She loves me! Me! And I love her! Do you even get it now? What you saw is not me lunging at your wife! You saw two people, two women, in love. I don't believe you. It's true. It's true. Eve. You gotta help me. I got no one else to turn to. You're the only person I trust in the world. The only one. You are my boy. My best boy. Are you gonna help me? Make this problem go away. Finish her off. Kill her. Right. You take her somewhere discreet. To the woods by the reservoir. Somewhere she can't be found. There's a spade and some clothes on the back seat. Thank you, son. straighten this out, but I just need you to come out so we can talk. Yeah? This is your last chance. Come out now. I promise I'll protect you. I'll go back there without doing this. It'll ruin my life, it'll take my kids away, it'll kill me bit by bit, it will. He has this way, he gets inside your head. So don't let him. Yeah, that's easier said than done. You know, if he knows you're alive. He 
think I'll never see you again, do you understand? Do you want me to disappear, is that it? What? It's the best I can offer. You have to go now. Go. I don't care where you go, but you have to go and never come back. I can't do that! Yes, you can! Where am I supposed to go? I don't care! I don't care! But you have to go now. If you show your face, if you contact Sucky... Eve, I'll track it down, I'll kill you. And I'll kill everyone you love. And if I don't, he will. He's capable. Capable of anything. He, he has no limits. There's no empathy, I know. Look, I don't want this any more than you, yeah? But this is the only way. I'd really, really rather not bury you in that hole. Ravi, look, no. if we... No! We... No! No more discussion! Yeah? Leave. Now. Nah.